second behind me, but I think we'll we'll be all right. All right, so this is Love is Dead. I am going to be commenting on the dire side, and we have... Uh, I am Ablick. I will be commenting on the Radiant side. So this is the one of the first matches that we've played as the uh, Reddit Noobs community. Um, just gather people together on a Sunday to see what happened. I'm playing Earthshaker. Static is uh, the Viper. We have Vengeful Spirit, Zack Attack. Camber playing Razor, and Talandria playing Windrunner. So what do we got for the Radiant side? Oh, side. We have, uh, we have, uh, Suicide King on the Night Stalker. We have, we have Jay Brown on the Sniper. We have Sexy Steve on the Pudge. Alvarez on the uh, Ancient Apparition. And Fl Lord Fluffy Pants on the Lashrac. Thirty seconds. Looks like uh, Lashrac knows what he's doing with placing some wards down immediately. And we're trying to figure out. Everyone seems to have a small competition to see who can hold the uh, creep blocking properly. <laughs> I don't know what keep my love means. As far as lanes go, it looks like Alvarez and, and uh, Sexy Steve will be bot. Uh, Jay Brown will be mid. Uh, Lashrac and Nightstalker will be on the top short lane. And on the dire side, we have Viper and Earthshaker together. Camber playing mid as Razor. And VS and Windrunner. We got dual ranged on the bottom lane here. And this is, by my way, my first time commentating on anything. Yeah. How about you? Um, not for a game like this. More like I've commentated on like first-person shooters, so this is completely different. What uh, what first persons have you played? Uh, commented. Um, some TF2 mostly, but occasionally I would um, kind of strike with friends. Yeah, so I guess this is a little different. Yeah. Uh, in mid lane, J Camber's taking off a lot of damage from J Brown. Off the close. Shrek's ward sees the room, but are they gonna do anything about it? I'm sorry, what? I said the Shrek's ward sees the room, but I'll pick it up. <laughs> Yeah, no one seems to be going for the rune yet. Maybe they're not looking, maybe they're concentrating too much on uh, getting the last hits properly. Just got some general harassment going on pretty much everywhere. really good on the denies. Oh, but he's right now got five denies on the sniper. Uh, Jay Brown has, uh, no, I think he has five, I think that's the last hits. And then, uh, Camber's got five denies and four last hits. I thought the top number was last hits, bottom was denies. Yeah, I don't know. Oh. I think, I don't know. The Sars teams go, let's see. The, the Dyer definitely have a lot of stuns on their side with Runner, Runner Shackle, uh, Vengeful Stun, um, Earthshaker's Fissure. And as far as Radiant goes, pretty tanky with uh, Pud, Pudge and Night Stalker. 
They're gonna need a lot of. They're gonna have to be a pretty late game team since they have like what three carries. Yes, they do have a lot of carries. And up top, looks like Love is Dead tried to go in, but got harassed. Push back out from Light Stalker. Close, but not quite. Everyone seems to be together with their initial starting item build. Because J rounds up to like 800. Yeah, everyone, with the exception of Alvarez, everyone seems to have oh, over 400 I, gold. I may kill this uh, vengeful bomb. Sexy Steve seems to be, he's out of uh, any mana region at this point, so he's got about one or two hooks before uh, before being done. Mm -hmm. Interesting to choice to take Flesh Sheep this early. Usually you wait down the road to have a couple of kills, then you can get the strength, because the strength bonus is retroactive. Yeah, you don't actually lose anything on the kills that you've experienced before activating Flesh Heat. Denied. Usually you get a lot of a lot of rot burst. Razor finally spends some gold to get a bottle. Sniper's still steadily climbing the money. Sniper has plenty of money to go with. I'm not sure what he, uh, if he just forgot or. This bottle is still in the stash. There it comes. I only just found out yesterday that you can put your bottle back on the courier, send him back, and get it recharged. It's like the push and bot. Oh, and Venge is about to go down. Venge went down from uh, Ancient Apparition. Talandria is still there. She Gets a shot back. off. Powers the hook. Back and off. Come down mid. That's a long way for Night Soccer to run. He could have just probably mm -hmm. taken uh, Razor there. Mm -hmm. But being nighttime, Night Stalker means, needs to make these kills immediately. Yeah. Really needs to be level 6 by the first night. He's, he's pretty under leveled. That's one of the main reasons he put him mid, so he can guarantee to get the levels to have that night by the 6 minute mark. True. The. Um, Oh, no, he's just heading back. <clears throat> we'll hopefully kill someone because he's missing out a lot of farm right now. Yeah, he would have had a hard time against Pudge, who was level 6 already. Oh, no, he's heading back top. Could have possibly helped Big Camber there. There's a void. Sniper has his ultimate. Might have been enough. Almost, almost something happening up top. You get static, low life. Yeah. Looks like we got Razor moving top. So, nope. But we do have Talandria there.
Let's see if Talandria will initiate or if. Yeah, she's kind of hanging. Love is dead with enough to in with enough mana to initiate. A little too far away. Oh no! Venge keeps auto attacking the and keeps pushing, letting this Pudge get all the farm he can. Pudge is level six. It's pretty high. Alvarez with uh, level five ancient apparition coming up on his ulti. Talandra's still wandering. Um, I could just put in a ward to check one room. Oh, come up top we have Love is Dead, almost about to mm -hmm. be lost. Love is Dead is oh. down. Lashrak traded. But Static is going to come down. Mark kind of getting on get their farming side with a um, nice advantage to the Radiant right now. 3 to 1. Radiant with about an 800 gold lead. Camera chasing. Generally, ex ex generally accepted strategy for Night Stalker is to use. Here he goes with his ulti, using that immediately upon night falling. The main reason you do that is because every time you use it, it stops the night the night cycle, so you can extend your night as long as possible to can't keep the bonuses from your hunter in the night. Brown winning with the uh, last hits against Razor. He has we have 39 to 26 currently. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Although Razor has a bottled regen rune. He can make a safe move on Brown. Decides to hold on to it. Fluffy pants, that. blue health from Viper. He's gonna escape with just a bit of health. Ah, fresh meat. Oh, we missed that one. Vengeful Spear going down to Night Stalker as he runs all the way down to bottom. <laughs> 